Hi creators, today I'm going to show you some basics of DaVinci Resolve 16. We're going to make this really cool text intro and it's going to show you guys how to do some text animation. You're going to learn something about compositing video in DaVinci Resolve 16 and how to use multiple timelines and combine those together to get a nice clean video and keep your project very organized in the process. So here we go. Okay, so I have this shot here. It's an aerial shot of New York City, and it's some stock footage that, that I acquired. And so I'm going to start building this composite. And so we need to build a text first. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that on a new timeline. You can hit Control-N, or you can go up to this file up here, and Option on the menu, and you can go up here to New Timeline. And we're going to just call this Text Overlay. Go ahead and create it. I'm going to keep it with my same project parameters. And I want to go ahead and put some text on here. I'm just going to use, you can use text plus or you can use regular text. I'll just use the regular text this time. Make sure that's selected. And then you can get this dialog box up here if the inspector is, is on up here in the right corner. And so we're going to just say New York. And obviously that text is not very good. I'm going to go ahead and let's do like a Broadway here. That's pretty good. We're going to make that quite a bit bigger. I'm going to bring in my tracking a little bit. Go down to like a negative 10 just to keep it tight there. And that's looking pretty good. I want to go ahead and actually zoom it in here as well. Get that pretty big here. And we're going to start animating. So I'm going to go over to the far left here. Let's actually, let's stretch this track out a little bit so I have something to work with. And I'll go to the far left. And we're going to start animating. Let's start it off of the right side of the screen. So I want to pull it up here quite a ways. And go ahead and hit this little diamond here to the right of the position. I'm going to bring it in. Just count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm going to move it all the way over to the left side off the screen. And let's go ahead and play that back. It's pretty fast, so I can make an adjustment. Open this, this little marker here. These are your key points for your track here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit to get a little closer. I'm going to move this key point over to about there. Let's play that back again. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. And so I'm going to move over just a little bit. I'm going to use the right arrow key on the actual keyboard just to get a couple of actual frames in there before I start moving it back. I'm going to go ahead and hit the position uh, key point again. So it gives me another key point marker. You can see that added in down here as well. And then I'm going to just, I can actually grab this one and copy paste it, or I can just make my own new one about at the same spacing. Let's just move over here. And I'm gonna move this back all the way over to the other side. I think that was around 4,500. That will work. So let's play that whole thing back. It's gonna move right to left, pause, and then move left to right. And it's gonna end about right there. And so I wanna go trim this actual clip back down to pretty much the key point there. I like that. I'll go ahead and close this key point editor. We have that text overlay finished now, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new timeline. Hit Control N. And we're just going to call this text uh, black. Create that. And so now what we want to do is I want to bring in, first of all, I want to make a generator of a solid color. Go ahead and make sure the effects library is open. Go down to this toolbox under generators. Go to solid color. Go ahead and drag that over onto the timeline here. So we just have a black color by default. I'm gonna go ahead and just call it black. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bring on my text that we created in the last step. I'm gonna drag this black background over to meet the edge of this animated text layer. And so it really just looks the same, but now we have that black background behind there. That's a very important step for us. So the next step I wanna do is I'm gonna make my cutout composite here. I'm gonna hit Control N again, create a new timeline. Go to, just call this cutout. Yeah, call it cutout text. Create that. And so now I have this, we'll just bring the regular video in on track one. I'm gonna bring in the text black on video track two. Go ahead and select that top layer, the text black. And we're gonna select this as darker color. And so now we're gonna get a nice cutout video of the actual video. So anything that basically is white, um, the, the video is going to show through. All of the black that we had, the black background, it is going to show as black. And so it's just looking for that white to allow that video to show through. And once that black and all that text is gone, you can see it just goes right back to our original video. There's nothing over top of it compositing it. So the next step that we need to do, this is pretty good uh, for our text intro, but I want to create a an, another kind of uh, second text layer that we're going to parallel with this one. And then we're going to have a nice clean wipe across here. And so it transitions into this just regular video a lot better than that. That just that quick uh, change. I don't really like that. So let's go ahead in here and I'm going to create a, we'll just call this one. We'll do a new timeline, control N. We'll call this one white comp. I'm going to create that. This one, I need my video again. And I'm also going to put my overlay on there. Keep in mind that I just grabbed the text overlay and not the text black. So we just want the white over top of this one. And we can leave that on normal. Um, you can play around with these. These are kind of neat. There's some, there's some different options in here. Um, obviously, you can just really change the compositing in here. And I'm not going to get into all these modes here. But there, there are a lot of things that we can do in Resolve with all of these different options that we have in here. So really what you want to use for this example is normal or you can use screen, either one. I'm going to go ahead and use just normal. And so now I have this, this white over top of the video. And I have this black. And you can select the actual timeline here or you can go to this strip pull down and select what you're viewing up here. And if you want to turn this inspector off, we can open more than one view and you can, you can preview two at once if you want, or just look at one at a time. I'm going to just look at one at a time right now. And so I'm going to create one last timeline. So let's hit control N one more time and we'll just call this one final comp. So I have my white comp and I have my cutout text. Those are the two that I want to mix and match here. And so I'm going to start with the white comp on the bottom. And I'm going to put the cutout text comp on top. Match up the timing of those. And then I'm going to do one more thing here. And so what we're going to do, so this point here, we need to get right on that point where it goes to the actual full video. I'm just using my arrow keys to go one frame at a time. So I want to get right on that point there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make a really cool little, little animation here. And so let's go to the inspector, make sure that's open. And we have one cool option here. It's called cropping. And so I'm going to basically animate some cropping here. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit animate. And I want to have this all the way Okay, now I want to go all the way to the left side, all the way to the edge, and I want to pull that crop left all the way to zero. And so now I'll preview that for you. So we're going to just get this mix and match here. And my computer's kind of jumping because I'm recording at the same time. Apologize for that. 
But what you're going to get is this, this kind of this wipe here. And it's going from the basically the white text over top of the video. Or you have the black text, which is now basically a cutout with the black background going over top of the video. Just to give it a little bit different look, it's a nice text intro to give it some just some pizzazz to your video. And so you can do some other things if you want. You can change, you could put a actual line in here. Uh, you can just do that using a solid color, thin that up and animate that at the same rate as this actual wipe here. You can change the softness on this edge here and get a little bit of a blur there if you want to. And it's gonna do all the same things because we have our compositing mode set correctly here. Um, if you just go back and hit undo to get that nice hard edge there. There's a lot of different options that you can do, but I wanted to show you some of the basics of being able to use multiple timelines, some of the compositing modes and text animation. Just with those three simple skills, you can do a lot in DaVinci Resolve 16. Yeah, try that out. Hopefully you guys learned something today and you can create your own text intros. And if you like this video, please like it on YouTube. And if you like the channel, please subscribe and you're gonna get some more videos on Resolve and other cool things in video productions for yourself to learn about. Take care, guys.